Hello and welcome to this new tutorial where we are going to be learning how to use Bitcoin wallet for beginners. So you'll go to your Play Store on your phone and then at the top here you'll type Bitcoin wallet and then you click on search and it will give you the options here. You notice we have Binance BTC, we have Bitcoin and Crypto DeFi wallet. So you click on Bitcoin wallet at the top there then you click on install it is just a small app so this does not take a lot of time to install it's around 3 mbs now once the app is installed you can now click on open app and it takes you here where you notice it shows you your balance here currently at zero and then down here it tells you no bitcoins received so far so you'll click on the three dots on the upper right corner there and then you notice you can check your safety, you can look at the exchange rate, sweep paper wallet, you can also do the network monitoring, then you can also change your settings. So we are going to click on settings there, and then we click on settings again at the top, and this is where you can change your settings in terms of notifications, data usage, and all that on that tab. So you notice here we have the notifications, and you can change the notifications if you have in, you need to allow them for your Bitcoin wallet. So to back up the wallet, you click on the three dots at the top there. Then you click on safety. And then you click on backup wallet. Your backup will be encrypted with the chosen password and written to external storage. So you put the password there. And then you click on backup. Then you click on save. And so now your wallet is backed up in your internal storage. So in case you want to restore your backup now, you click on settings there. Then you click on safety and then you click on restore wallet. You notice it takes you to where you had saved your stored wallet. So if you want to see your balance, your balance is at the top here. And if you click on the balance, you'll be able to see the exchange rates. So you notice if you click there, you can see the exchange rates for all this. And if you want to look for a certain exchange rate, you can search for it there at the top there. So maybe you want to see the exchange rate for AED, you notice there it is. And uh, you can set it as the default. You simply click on the three dots there and then you click on set as default. So that is how you can uh, view the balance and also view the exchange rates now for you to send coins on your bitcoin wallet app you simply come down here and click on send coins and here you will type the name or the address to pay to here and then you will enter the amount here and then you notice now it gets converted on this other side from mb to this uh, pounds and then once you are done with that you will click on send down here. It's currently inactive because you have not selected the above. So that's how you click. That's how you send the coins. Now to request for coins, you come to the left hand side down here and you notice we have request coins. You click on that request coins. And so once you want to request coins, you notice down here we have a code, a QR code that you can scan. So have this code scanned by the sender. So what you can do with that is you can copy at the top here. You notice we have copy, the Bitcoin request copied to clipboard, or you can click on share here, and then you share that either on WhatsApp, Facebook, Skype, to just the way you want to share it with anybody. So you put the amount here, maybe you want to request for 10, and then shows you the conversion on this other side. So you put 10 maybe there or 100, that's what you want paid then you notice the code the more i put figures here the qr code here down here keeps on changing so let me add another digit you notice the qr code keeps on changing so this is a safety feature so that you just get to request for the coins that you want exactly so if you click on the three dots again here you can request from the local app so you notice if I click on request from local app, currently I don't have any other Bitcoin app found in my app, so I cannot do the request. But if you have such installed, that is how you use the request for coins here. 
So at the top here, if I click on that, this is the address book. So this is where we get the address. This is my current address for receiving. So I can copy this. If I click on that and click on copy, you notice Bitcoin address has been copied to my clipboard. Then I can share it to anyone so that now I can be able to receive the coins there. Again, if I click on the three dots there, I can show the QR code this way. And then I can send that QR code to someone. They can scan that and then I can receive the payment. I can also click on this edit pen so that I can add a label. So I'll put a label here as pay me, pay me here. Then I'll click on add. So you notice now our label has been added there. So if I click on maybe the first label here that is unlabeled, if I click on that, I can still change it to something else. I can copy, I can uh, edit that to what I would want it to be. So that's how you edit your address book. So if you click on these other three dots, you can see your received payments all at once, or you can see your sent payments all at once, or you can see all payments all at once. Currently, it is set at all payments. So if I click on received payments, you notice it is at zero. If I click on sent payment again, it is currently at zero. So if now I come back to the three dots at the top here and I click on sweep paper wallet, you notice here, I can sweep the paper wallet or coupon and this will move all coins from that paper to your wallet on this device. And then when the transaction is confirmed, the paper will be worthless and should, be, should not be reused for safety reasons. So we can start by scanning the private key of a paper wallet and we use the camera there. So at the top here, you notice we have the camera. So if I click on the topmost part here, you notice I get my camera and then I click on allow, allow, allow. Then I'll be able now to scan that. In this case, I don't have a code to scan. So I click on deny so that I can get back. So once you scan that, you will click down here where you can see the decrypt part down here. And once you click that, you'll be able to sweep your paper wallet. Now, next, you can also do the network monitor. You click on the three dots at the top here. You click on network monitor. You, these are the peers, nobody, but when we come to blocks, we don't have anybody blocked, but these are the peers connected to this. Now, if I click again on the three dots, I can uh, request to legacy address, or I can also report an issue if I have any issue. Under settings, as we said, you can do the diagnostics. And again, on settings, you can do quite a lot. You can do denomination and precision. And uh, this is the unit to show amounts in, and this does not affect your computations. You can also do auto close send coins dialog, such that once you send the coins, the dialog box auto closes itself. The third one here, you can show disclaimer, and then you can set your data usage. Then you can also disable battery optimization. You can reset your notifications. And then for the trusted peer that I showed you on the other side, this is where you set that. You can add. You can add the valid IP address or host name for the trusted peer down here, and then you click on OK. So I hope this has been helpful. That is how you use Bitcoin Wallet app for beginners. Kindly like this video, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.